Senator Dalphone. Merci, Monsieur. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for Senator Gould as the representative of the government. In 1982, Francophones were promised that Canada would finally uh, give itself a bilingual constitution in December 1990. The translation of text was tabled in the Senate and in the House of Commons. Today, over 30 years later, those texts still have not been officialized in the Constitution. On March 29 last, this chamber unanimously adopted a motion calling on the government to amend Bill C-13 to add an obligation for the government to annually report on efforts made to hold the promise made to Francophones in 1982. Can you tell us, as the government's representative in the Senate, what exactly have you asked the government to do to follow up on that motion, and what have results been to this day? Thank you very much for the question, Mr. Senator. The government w always aims to respect both official languages, because all Canadians should have access to the Constitution in both official languages. The motion is of interest to the government and to the senator who just asked the question. I've been assured that the government will closely examine the issue, as it has done with any matter related to official languages. And Bill C-13, I will keep this chamber informed of any further developments. Supplementary, Mr. Senator Dalphon? Yes, thank you. Now, are there any concrete results? Do Will we have to conduct another pre-study to ensure that C-13 is indeed amended? Senator Gold, thank you for the question. I hope that by the end of the day, if the Senate authorizes a pre-study, the Senate will be able to engage in that study, and I hope we can soon study that matter and any other related issue.